Hi everybody, if here is a square A, B, C, D. Now in the square, draw a semicircle by taking A, B as a diameter and then draw the diagonal D, B and it bisects the semicircle at point E. Now draw another line from point C such that it tangent to the semicircle at point F. Now join the point F and B and then F and E. Now, if the side length of square is 2a, then what is the area of this orange region and what is the area of this triangle DEF in terms of A? So please give your trial to this question and keep watching for the solution. Now, here is our final figure after removing some lines to make it more easier to understand. Let the center of the semicircle be O and then draw the radius of the semicircle to the tangential point F and we know that it is perpendicular to the tangential line FC. Now line OB is equal to line OF because it is the radius of the semicircle which is equal to A and angle OBC is also equal to of 90 degrees. So in triangle COB and triangle COF, angle OFC is equal to angle OBC is equal to of 90 degrees and line OB is equal to line OF is equal to the radius of the semicircle which is equal to A. And then OC is a common line, therefore triangle COB is congruent to triangle COF by RHS congruency rule. So that angle BCO is equal to angle OCF by CPCT and then angle COF is equal to angle COB by CPCT and then again angle CB to line CB is equal to line CF which is equal to 2A by CPCD. Now let the angle BCO is equal to of theta so that angle FCO is equal to of theta. Now join the line F and B and let the point of intersection between the line FB and CO be O dashed. Now in triangle C O dash B and triangle C O dash F C B is equal to C F which is equal to 2A by congruency and angle O dash C F is equal to angle O dash C B is equal to of theta by congruency and O C dash is a common line therefore triangle C O dash B is congruent to triangle C O dash F by S S congruency rule. So, angle C O dash F is equal to angle C O dash B by CPCT because F O dash B is a straight line. Therefore, angle C O dash F plus angle C O dash B is equal to of 180 degrees. So, angle C O dash F is equal to angle C O dash B is equal to of 90 degrees. Now, we mark this in our figure. Now in right triangle COB sin of theta is equal to A divided by A under root 5. Now in right triangle CO dash B sin of theta is equal to O dash B divided by 2A. Now equating both values of sin of theta that we find. So 1 divided by under root 5 is equal to O dash B divided by 2A. And we know that O dash B is equal to O dash F by congruency. So O dash B is equal to O dash F which is equal to 2A divided by under root 5. Now here is our another figure after removing some lines to make it easier to understand another result. Now draw a line from point E to the side of the square such that it is tangent to the semicircle. Now we know that 
the radius of semi circle is a and o is the center of the semi circle now join the line o e and it is perpendicular to the line e because we know that radius is perpendicular to the tangent and we know that angle a is also equal to 90 degrees now join the diagonal and we know that oe is equals to a and ao is also equals to a because of radius so in the side triangle these another acute angles be of 45 degrees and after congruency in another right triangle angles is also equals to 45 degrees so we know that after this result angle eob is also equals to 90 degrees so by using pythagoras theorem fb square is equals to a square plus a square so eb is equals to a under root 2 now here is our final figure now in right triangle cob angle cob is equals to 90 degrees minus theta now in another right triangle o o dash b angle o dash o b plus angle o dash b o is equals to of 90 degrees so 90 degrees minus theta plus angle o dash b o is equals to of 90 degrees so angle o dash b o is also equals to of 90 degrees so we mark this in our figure now theta plus angle fbe plus angle cbd is equals to of 90 degrees so theta plus angle fbe plus 45 degrees plus is equals to of 90 degrees so angle fbe is equals to of 90 degrees minus 45 degrees plus theta so sin of angle fbe is equals to sin of 90 degrees minus 45 degrees plus theta and we know that sin of 90 degrees minus x is equals to cosine of x so sin of angle fbe is equals to cosine of 45 degrees plus theta and now using the identity cosine of x plus y is equals to cosine of x times cosine of y minus sin of x times sin of y so after putting the values and then finding the value of cosine of theta and sine of theta in right triangle cbo we get cosine of 45 degrees plus theta is equals to 1 divided by under root 10 which is equal to sine of angle fbe now here is our final figure the things that we found is sine of angle fbe is equals to 1 divided by under root 10 and then side fb is equals to 4a divided by under root 5 and silent of side eb is equals to a under root 2 now in this orange triangle whose area which we have to find area of this triangle fbe is equals to half of fb times ef eb times sine of angle fbe and after putting the values and after some reduction we get area of triangle fba is equals to 2a square divided by 5 and that is our correct answer